the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Boys.com live here with Travis Kaufman, heavyweight, slated to be facing Luis Ortiz a couple days from now. Um, I guess just what's the thought process behind it? Why did you accept this fight? I mean, they got him pegged as this boogeyman. Is that true, or are people lined up to fight him? Like I said, boogeyman looks under his bed looking for me at night. Mm. Boogeyman's scared of me. Um, as a fighter, Lewis is one of the most skilled fighters, absolutely. Um, I don't know why they named him the boogeyman. I mean, it's because everybody, there are people who are afraid. You got guys, top, quote unquote, top guys who were making way more money than I've ever made, like a Dylan White, who say they want to fight him, but they get scared. You know, I, I'm fucked. What do I have to lose? I'm a single father of three kids. I want to fight. I got to provide for them. If I, if I didn't fight Lewis and Tease, what am I going to do? Go fight another a no name where I can't get up for I can't. I can't really push myself to get up for those type of fights. Um, so that's why I attempted to fight. They called me and they said, Travis, you want this fight? I said, hell yes, yes. And I, I went right to camp, drove, drove 24 hours to Texas. Yeah, I know you were in Texas. Where were you holding camp exactly? Because, you know, people think of Texas right away. They think of Ronnie Shields. Where was Travis Kaufman? Houston, in Houston, Texas at uh, O Athletics. It's a, it's a gym uh, that's owned by James Cooper, who is a, a park trainer of mine. Uh, James Cooper owns it. Also, uh, NFL star uh, Adrian Peterson and, um, and Trent Williams, they own it as well. So, James Cooper is also, he's been involved in boxing for a long time. He helped train me along with Nazem Richardson and my father, Marshall Kaufman. Oh, wow, so Nazim was in the corner. Yeah, Nazim has been working with me for four years. Okay. Um, that is actually a good thing. <laughs> Nazim is a very good trainer. Uh, I, I seen him most recently on The Contender, and he did a great Go job. There. Yeah, I seen he did a great job with uh, Spicy. So what, what loopholes do you see in Lewis? I mean, again, everyone has him pegged um, as the boogeyman. You don't, but I, it's I because see, you see something. I, I, think, I, I don't even think it's that. I think it's just because I come from the streets, and I'm not scared of nobody. What Every, streets? Philly? Right outside of Philly, right in Pennsylvania. We're, okay. you know, we're the most uh, lowest poverty in, in America two years ago. We come from, it's a very, very rough area. And uh, a, lot, a lot of bad things happen there. I'm very respected in that area, thank God, because of what I've done for my community. You know, I, mean, I give back. And, um, but I grew up in a very rough, rough area. Um, and like I said up there, I don't know if you're here for the press conference, but I've been shot. Well, I didn't say that up there, but I've been shot at. My dad whipped my ass more than Lewis and T's ever whipped my ass. Um, you know, but the worst that could, that, that's my dad right there, by the way. Yeah, you can but, tell. But the, but the, don't call children services. <laughs> but <laughs> but the, worst, the, the worst that could happen has happened to me in my life already. I've dealt with depression. I've dealt with mental, a lot of mental things. Like, like all fighters have. Tyson Fury has dealt with it. But I don't use it as, as my scapegoat to, to look for pity, for sympathy. I don't want sympathy. Everything that happened in my life, I made happen in my life. You know, my depression, I caused that because of the decisions I made in my life. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm not scared of nobody. Lord's the T's, uh, anybody except God. And that's the only one I fear. Now, I know it's one fight at a time, but hypothetically speaking, you get past Ortiz. Do you feel like, hey, I deserve that wilder shot because if Ortiz would have beat me, you guys were lining him up. Absolutely, I would deserve that. But, um, like I said up there, man, I can't worry about I don't care who wins that fight. I have to win Saturday night against uh, 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 Ortiz. Otherwise, it won't be ever no Wilder and Travis Kaufman or, or Fury and Travis Kaufman or Joshua and Travis Kaufman. And that's why I said what I said up there. What, what do you see in Lewis? Um, you think maybe he's a, losing a step? Um, do you believe the rumors of the 50-year-old age? I don't, I don't believe the age thing. I don't, I don't believe that. I believe he's older than 39, but I don't believe 50. I don't believe. I don't even believe 40. I think maybe 45, 44. Um, but that's young. I mean, I don't think he's a, he's an old... I don't believe he's an old 44-year-old. He's a young 44-year-old, I believe. Um, he, uh, the thing I seen in him was 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 more so a mental thing. Um, there's a reason he takes steroids. You're insecure. That's a mental thing. You're insecure about something, which is why you take steroids. You're not, you're not and he, skill-wise, he's one of the most skilled. So why are you still taking steroids? Because you're insecure about something. Insecurity, that's something deep within. And if I get deep inside of him, I already want to fight. I think I did that today. You think it's a stamina issue? Of why he's on steroids? Just in general, as him as a fighter, does he have a stamina issue? Um, can you outwork him? I, I definitely believe I can outwork him. I'm going to have to outwork him. And, and I also believe that I, I cannot win a decision. They, mm. they're, they're already talking about Wilder, I mean Wilder and, 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 and 
the Ortiz rematch. So they're not going to give me the victory. They're going to rob me like they did against Ariola when I fought Ariola because they were talking about Ariola fighting with, uh, Wilder for a while. So they're robbing me again. I can't, I can't let it go to decisions. When I have him hurt, and I will have him hurt, I have to finish him. I let I let uh, Chris Arrow off the hook, and I can't do that. I, I can't do that with, with this fight. You think you'll hurt him to the head or to the body first? Uh, only time will tell. You know, you got you got to chop a tree down first. So you got the salt and pepper. We talking Louis <laughs> Ortiz's age. How old is uh, Travis Kaufman? Thirty three. Thirty three. Thirty three. I got an ID to prove that. <laughs> and birth certificate. Salt and pepper. That's just that's just years of shit I've been through. Bro, you look like you held training camp in Miami. I thought, when I was in Houston, it was pretty chilly. You got a fucking great tan. You know, I try to stay sexy. Is that a lot of road work, or are you that doing... James Cooper method. That, that's James Cooper method. Actually, is that a lot of road work, or is, like, you well, tanning better? I ran a lot. I ran a lot. But this I, is I mean, not... I, did, no, I, I just want to be clear. I did, this I did, is not a tanning bed? I did use tanning bed. Oh, I was about to but say, not, holy not, shit, not. you was out in the sun for real. No, I did use tanning bed, but not, not, like, not like, you know, you, you see these white Hollywood yeah. women use them. I use it probably like once every two weeks or something. Okay. But I was out running five miles a day, four miles a day. Wow. I mean, I knew I needed my legs for this fight. Talk to me a little bit about that because you hear most heavyweights, specifically Dante Wilder, does not run. And those heavyweights that do, they're like, oh, no, a mile a day is good. I believe short distance is, is good for speed. I believe one, two miles is good. I do it more for a mental reason, to relax. Um, four years ago, I had ACL surgery. Doctors told me I'd never run again. So I like proving the doctors wrong. Fuck you, I'm gonna run again. Mm. And, and I'm running. I ran just uh, two weeks ago, I ran seven miles. Wow. So, you know, so, that was great. So, man. so for me, it's like I like to push my body to the limit, which is hence why I get injuries at times. But uh, but I'm, I, I, I love pushing my body. I, I like proving people wrong. When, they, when the doctor said I couldn't run again, oh, I'm gonna run. And a year later, I was out running two miles. Now, and this is the most I ran in a long time, seven miles, but it felt good. We seen Luis Ortiz on the track for his last fight with Wilder. Do you think that he's doing the same thing? You hear fighters say, "Nah, it ain't yeah. broke. I'm not. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna fix anything that isn't broke." Is he still putting in miles for you, or do you think he's looking over? I, past I think he's looking past me. Why? I, I, Why exactly? You feel that way? Because I'm a, I'm a quote unquote nobody in this division. You know, he thinks it's gonna be another. The guy he fought before um, Water was Daniel Wirtz or March or whatever his name is. He put the sleeping one around. Who's a nobody? You know, the guy, the last guy he fought who went with the distance was Josh Joseph Parker, but he ain't, he ain't no name. You know, so he's thinking it's going to be one of those guys where he can just put to sleep again. Do you think you're more talented than, a, say, a David Allen, who did go to the decision with him? No, he went seven rounds with him. Oh. But, but you have him right. I'm way more talented than David Allen. Way more talented than David Allen. Way more. I have a better IQ. I have a lot of the amateur experience. I was number one in the country as an amateur. Um, but the amateur shit's gone. That, that means nothing no more. Uh, but it just helped with my pro career, you know. Um, I haven't had the, the the big caliber of fighters like Ortiz has had. Um, I fought, my biggest name was Chris Arola and Amir Mansoor. Chris Arola, I beat the shit out of the game in a fight. Mansoor, I thought I could have won either way. I thought I won, but I thought I, I, I don't feel like I robbed, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it's just one of them things. Um, it doesn't matter how, like my last fight looked like shit. But it doesn't matter how if I look like shit all 35 of my last fights. As long as I look good Saturday night, that's what I'm Absolutely. A, a win over Lewis could change your life. And it will change my life. When you're running those five miles, is that what you're thinking? Or, or like you said, is it just, you know, you're out there, it's it's peaceful for you? Well, I'm, I'm a single father of three kids, so i got to provide for them. And when I'm running, I just think, this is how I'm going to provide. I don't want to run. I'd rather go home and eat, drink a beer, and eat a cheeseburger, but i got to run. All right. Well, Travis, man, wish you the best of luck. I appreciate it. See you it. Saturday night. I hope you uh, can fulfill your destiny. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through th its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.